Today I'm going to show you how I uh, bring CAD files over to Blender for product rendering and I am particularly using STEP and STP files because there is a very handy add-on called Stepper. You can find it on Gumroad made by Ambi. There is a free older version but I personally use the OCC import one and I'm gonna show you how this works. For this I'm just gonna go over to GrabCAD. This is an excellent website for finding models if you want to practice rendering and just want to have CAD quality models to work with. As you browse through uh, GrabCAD you will see that some files are in STP version and STP and STEP files both work with this add-on. So now I'm going to pop over to Blender and here you can go import and step. I have the ready plugin installed. So let me just go over here and get you a wheel. The nice thing about using this add-on is unlike working with OBJ or STL which are all formats that you could export your CAD files into, the step per add-on lets you where is this, uh, re-import the object with different geometry. So let's take a look at the rim here. You will notice that it has clear edging and of course all these models whether it's uh, STL, OBJ or direct step files they are going to import in triangulated form but we can deal with this. But let's first look at this how we can get better geometry. So if I select the tire and in my stepper add-on I can change the linear deflection and angular deflection. For most of the objects that I work with, I go with 0.5 for linear and 0.3 for angular. And now I'm going to hit rebuild. Let run. And you'll see it changed. It is getting better, but it's not perfect. Now, if I just look at the wireframe, the overall wireframe didn't change that much. You, there will just be more um, edges across here, but it's still quite clean. And so I'm going to crank it even more to 0 0.3 on the linear and 0 0.15 on the angular. Hit rebuild again. And you can see now we have very good results. And all of these results already um, are clean enough that from an angle you won't even um, see the difference. But let's say I want to have a very close up and I want to have this perfect. What I can do is I can go into edit mode and when you import step files instead of STLs all of the seams that would be generated in the CAD software are also imported. So you will see that if I hit L it will select this face and the overall mesh is very easy to do work with since everything is separated. Now if you want to merge everything to be a single object just hit A and then go to mesh, uh, clean up and merge by distance and this will make it so that your whole mesh is one. Now you'll notice that we still have two separate objects here because these ones are far apart, far enough apart that they will not get merged with that. But I'm going to hit undo here because I want to show you the way that I clean up these meshes even more. So. So here I'm just concerned about getting this rim perfectly smooth. So I'm just going to go around hitting L, selecting all of these. And then I'm going to hit P, separate selection. 
object, switch over to this one. And now with everything selected, I'm going to hit Control F and tries to quads. And you will see that now we have perfectly beautiful quads. And this allows me to hit Control 1 to put a 1 subdivision or 2, depending on how smooth you want to do. But just with that little click, we have made this perfectly smooth. Now, if you go to the other objects, you will see that some of this geometry is definitely not going to get cleaned up with Control F and so I'll show here, Control F tries to quads. You'll see that we here have some places that didn't get uh, properly made, but that is an easy fix. Just hit the knife tool, cut out the geometry, then edge select select the ones that you don't want, X and dissolve edges, and there we have, we fixed that one, and you can go about it. But most of the times I don't see a necess necessary to do this because the basic models that Stepper brings in are generally good enough that you don't need to adjust them. And since you, if you're doing product rendering, the geometry density is not an issue, the other thing that is so great about this is when you are working with step files and CAD files, depending on how they're exported, you can get them as a single file, as you see over here, or if I create a new general and we go back to this GrabCAD, this model is a complex SolidWorks or whatever. If we go over back to this bicycle, you'll see that this is a very complex object. Now generally when you have a multi-part object in CAD, you can export it in a way that when you import the file, this will take us a moment, if I just go here and import this, all of the data that the CAD model has about the different objects and how they're linked to each other is brought in through this plugin. The import process can be quite long depending on the model, but eventually it comes. So here we have this complex bicycle model, and this is where this plugin shines. If I was to import an STL file, this would be a singular object with no seams and all tri uh, triangles. But when I use Stepper, you will see I have a list of objects grouped by collections. So you have the master collection and then we have the bolts. And the way that the objects are linked is if we take a look at the handles, you'll see there are two ob objects, but when we hit over to edit mode, you'll notice that they are linked. All of the material data, UV data, object data is linked, so I only have to unwrap one of these handles and work with it, and the second handle will uh, have everything identical. Same thing you'll notice with the water bottles. They're linked, and this is incredibly time-saving um, depending on the mo models. For example, let's say you're working on a car and you have some bolts. You could have all of those bolts have link data, so you only need to grab one bolt to edit all of your bolts. You open the tires, you'll see both tires are linked. And if I open UV editor, you'll also see that unwrap. So here I'll just do a quick unwrap. So now this tire is unwrapped and if I click over to the other tire, go to edit, it is also unwrapped. Since the objects are marked with edges, unwrapping most objects will also be very easy. So I'll just show you if I unwrap, get nice UVs and here I can just hit 
A to select all, control F tries to quads, and you unwrap perfectly good uh, UVs. So this is just an um, amazingly convenient, wonderful way to work with step files. So if you are working with any engineers, whether it's uh, Autodesk software, SolidWorks, ask them to give you the step files and you will have a much nicer time than working with exported OBJ and STLs. That is all for now. Maybe at some point I will show you the full process in a longer video.